hello my jewels welcome back to another video i am sapphire today is monday evening march 21st happy monday so today's video i'm going to talk about hair growth tips that you should know okay hair growth tips that sh that you should know so these are some routines that i've been doing that really has um, been growing or helping my hair to grow all right and I want to share those with you as well. So, but before I get started, I just want to ask a favor of all of my wonderful jewels. I am seeking to get at least 5K by December. I know you have seen in some of my videos that let's reach um, 5K by December. This is what I would hope to have by December. And I need your help. So, I want you to share my videos, okay? Make sure that you share my videos and also encourage people to subscribe to my channel, okay? First, you're going to share it, all right? And then, you're going to encourage people to subscribe. All they have to do is press the button, click the bell, and they will see videos every single week. Okay, I was doing them twice a week, but I have we have our grands over and I'm just helping our daughter out for a little while. I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but I'll post them as often as I can. I know they won't be twice out the week, but if they don't have homework, like I explained before, then I will come on twice out the week, like my regularly scheduled um, days, Monday or Tuesday or Thursday, Friday. But you may just see them. Who knows? It could be up tomorrow, Tuesday, the 22nd or the 23rd. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Depending on what they have from school once they come home. Okay. Because my days, my evenings now are really busy. If I'm not, I'm cooking and now I am um, seeing after our grandchildren. Okay. So by the time my husband gets home, then my daughter is here 30 minutes later. They've already ate done their homework or whatever okay so yeah so i need your help guys okay also don't forget to like the video all right thumbs the video up as well it's just letting me know that you love and enjoy my content okay if i see a lot of thumbs up so make sure that you thumbs the video up before i get started did you thumbs it up i'll wait Thank you so much. I truly appreciate every last one of you. Thank you. Now let's get started with the video. So today I'm going to talk about hair growth tips that will work in your hair if you are consistent. Okay. And these are some things that you should know or should be doing in your hair care routine. Okay. First things first. All right. Breakage. Avoid breakage in your hair. Now I know that's not your intent to break your hair whenever you're doing anything to your hair, but you want to avoid breakage as much as possible, okay? Be careful what you use, how you use them. Look for ingredients in your products that your hair may not like. If you know your hair already, please avoid using products that are loaded with proteins, okay? Because using products that are loaded with proteins, no matter what it is, that will eventually dry your hair out and break it off, okay? So please avoid breakage in your hair care routine, okay? Secondly, do not detangle your hair when your hair is dry. Just like my hair is dry and I go to detangle it if I have a protective style and I don't put any protection on there like a, a moisturizer, a store-bought moisturizer or a like a, a water-based conditioner okay you have to make sure that you are not detangling or trying to detangle your hair i don't care how much of a rush you are don't detangle your hair when your hair is dry because that can cause breakage as well i used to do that try to hurry up and get done and do what i have to do and then on the ends of my hair i see these little knots youtube call them fairy knots but i see these little hair knots on the end of my hair and they're about so big and they have lots of hair my i have broken off my hair so you want to be careful make sure oh yeah and someone was asking about braids can you also moisturize your braids yes you can if you're taking your braids down 
okay? And because I know some people have hair connected with the braids, all you have to do is get your water-based conditioner and put them on the ends of your hair and begin to rub that in. And what I would like for you to do, this is something that I thought up as well when I used to wear protective styles. I would put the um, conditioner right on my French braids because Elizabeth used to French braid my hair. Those of you who've been following me for quite some time, I used to wear two French braids and she would French braid my hair every Tuesday. And then Friday, once I come home from work, I would take them down. But I used to put conditioner all throughout there and then on the ends of my hair and put a plastic cap on for at least 10 minutes. And that would help draw me some moisture from the heat of my head. And then I began to take my braids down. Um, that would also help as well. So if you have like your own hair braided up or if you have even um, extensions in your hair, you can, if it's real, not synthetic, if it's real hair, you can also use conditioner on that as well and begin to detangle your hair but you want to make sure that you're coating your hair very well wet it very well <coughs> okay with um excuse my throat is a little dry <laughs> you want to wet it very well or coat it very well with a moisturizer or a water-based um, conditioner this will help you really get some moisture in your hair before detangling okay i promise you and lastly Get yourself a routine. Get a good routine going, okay? And stick to that routine. Don't differ, all right? And don't watch anybody else. You get to learn your hair, okay? And you get a routine going for yourself within that week. Every week, it should be the same thing, the same thing. And you have to be consistent with this. And you'll start to see some results in your hair, okay? You guys already know my routine within my hair. OK, so what I do one week every month, I do a co-wash. OK, and then after that co-wash, I would do a leave in and then I would start to oil. I would lubricate my scalp and then I would um, moisturize and seal the bottom end. And that will last me a couple of days. And then the next day, the, the next week or the next couple of days, I would still moisturize and seal. The next week I would do a pre-poo and do the same thing. And then I will wash my hair, deep condition. I deep condition once a month. And that helps my hair. This is my routine that works for me. Some people like to use lots and lots of serums and oils, which is fine because there are some serums out there that will really help your hair. And all you need is like a, like a dime size because each video that I watch of these women using these hair serums, they just use a little bit, maybe a dime size, and they put it, you know, rub it in their hand and then work this in and then work this in and then together. And that they say that will last them for a whole week because it's because if you put too much, it'll weigh your hair down. OK, that I noticed because my daughter's used serums in her hair and she said, Mama, all you need is a little bit. And that bottle will last her for a few months because she just using just a dime size, just like some of the women on YouTube. So you want to make sure that you have a good routine going in your hair you want to stick to that. Otherwise, what's the point? It just won't work. You get what I'm saying? It just will not work if you don't have good habits or routine, if you are not um, preventing um, breakage in your hair, if you are detangling your hair when it's dry. You can't do any of these. So this is something I have learned over time, okay, over time. And if you stick to the routine that you have and you don't differ, you will see a difference within a few months. Trust me, maybe, maybe, maybe within two months or a month, you will see a difference in your hair. Your hair strands will start to be healthy. You understand me? They will be stronger. You won't see any shedding or breaking or anything like that. Okay. Lastly, keep your scalp clean. OK, it's very important to keep your scalp clean. You want a clean scalp. You don't want to wash your hair every four or five months and then instead of and then um, putting on product after product after product because it causes buildup. You, you get what I'm saying? And it weighs the hair down. It clogs up the pores. OK, and the follicles cannot hold on to those hair strands. And that's how our hair break. 
okay? They cannot hold on because they're not strong enough because it's, it's too heavy and it's weak, all right? And this will also break off your hair, okay? All right? So I hope and I do pray that you guys are learning something from my videos because I really love sharing all of the things that I experience in my hair, good habits, and I bring them to you. Okay, I get a lot of feedback about um, how certain things that I do in my hair has been helping you. And I praise God for that because this is what I'm here for. Okay, I really am here for that. And I love what I do. I really do. Okay, so I would like to thank you all so much and I hope and pray that you have a good evening. I'm going to go and take a shower and I'm going to get ready for bed. Okay, so Lord's will, you will see me in the next video. Thank you ever so kindly for watching me. God bless you. Good night. Bye.